Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new here and today I'm going to be doing a little faux freckles tutorial. I love the way that faux freckles look and I have been wearing them a lot recently so I wanted to show you how I do mine. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, be sure to do that. My username is at Hannah Whirling and let's get started. So there's a couple different products that I use when doing my faux freckles but for the actual freckles themselves, I use the L'Oreal Paris Never Fail Eyeliner in black brown and this is just a pencil liner. I personally really like this color. I think it works really well with most skin tones. They also have a black color if you want something even darker or I'm pretty sure that they have lighter colors as well if you want something that's a little bit lighter than what I'm gonna do. I just feel like this stands out well without looking too harsh on my skin tone. I'm gonna be a little bit closer to the camera for this part just so you guys can see it on my skin. So I just twist it up just a little bit like this and then I just start dabbing on. So I'm gonna start with the nose area and that's where I'm gonna put the most amount of freckles and then I'll do a little bit less out onto the cheeks and then I'm gonna go up the bridge of the nose and then just below the brow as well just to get a really full look I just kind of tap it on like this and at kind of random just to make sure that I'm getting a really natural look and then kind of spread it out onto the sides here and then I really like to make sure that I go down and then also up the bridge of my nose just like this and then I like to do it up kind of over towards my eyebrows as well. I think that this makes it look super natural. And it's okay to do a lot to begin with because they will fade out and I will show you how we're gonna do that as well. It's okay if it looks a little bit harsh right now. We're going to blend it all out. And then for the last part, I like to do it just below the brow here. So I do a couple little dots right here and then right here as well. This is what it looks like right now. We're gonna blend this all out next. So just to start with blending it out, I'm just gonna tap my finger all the way along here, and this will just kind of soften up the color a little bit. You can tap it up the bridge of your nose and then across here, and then underneath the brow as well. If it's okay if it looks a little bit harsh still, don't worry, we're gonna be fixing it all up. And if there are any spots that you don't like, feel free to just try and like wipe it away with your hand or you can use a Q-tip to just kind of wipe it away. So you could even just leave them like this, but I really like to make sure that I get a natural look when I'm doing these. The next step is we're going to set them. So to be able to set them, I like to use the e.l.f. HD powder. And this is just a clear powder. It works really well. I have tried other powders before, but a lot of them make me break out and this one doesn't. So I'm just using a fluffy brush. You put a tiny little bit, just tap off whatever excess because you don't want to have too much. And then just go over the freckles like this. And this will just help set them into place and also fade them out a little bit if they are, again, looking too harsh. And then you can put it underneath the brow as well. So then I like to go in with what is one of my favorite products of all time. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam. And this is just going to give your freckles a really nice sun-kissed look because my actual natural freckles like really come out during the sun, especially when I get sunburned in the summer. So you don't need a lot, just a tiny little bit on your finger and then dab it over the area that you applied your freckles and then across the bridge of the nose as well. And I just like to use my finger for this. I feel like it works best. So this is looking pretty good, but if you feel like you need a little bit more color on your cheeks, you can use the Mineral Fusion 3-in-1 Color Stick in Berry Glow. For this one, I just apply it up at the top here, just like that. You don't need very much because this stuff is very, very saturated. Then I just go in with this fluffy brush and tap it out. I don't wanna rub too much because you don't wanna rub away the freckles that you built up and then across the bridge of your nose again, just to kind of build up that really nice sun-kissed color. So the last thing I like to do, just because this color does look a little bit intense, go in with my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends Bronzer. Put a little bit of this on my brush and then I'm just gonna blend out the spaces where there is a lot of color. You can put a little bit underneath your brows too if you just wanna blend that out. And you don't need very much of this because I found with bronzer a little bit goes a really long way. So then after you've done this, if any of your freckles have rubbed off a little bit, you can just apply a few more. So I'm gonna go back in and do that right now. 
So this is what it looks like when it's all done. It doesn't show up on camera as much as I would like, so I'll insert a little close-up as well. Hopefully this video helped you out with creating your own faux freckles look at home. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have not seen my other videos already, be sure to head over to my channel to that. I have more hair care, fashion, makeup, skincare, and more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.